Hello guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building Tom's the Tank Engine in Minecraft. So this is the new and improved design. It looks a lot better than the last time, which I did it in 2016, and it's much more proportional. If you look at the older model I have right here, it's really long compared to this one right over here, which is more accurate. And this has also an interior, which is quite rare for me to do. But here's the interior. We got like a um, firebox down here with the magma and then like a coal uh, bunker back there. Now once we get out of the cab, you can have a 360 view of it. Here's the back of it. And there was quite a few changes. And including in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build uh, the number one banner. Because apparently last time I forgot to show you guys. <laughs> How to do that and people kept asking me about that um, but yeah a lot of people were requesting another Thomas of Friends uh, tutorial since it's been a long time since I posted one so I decided I would like redo this design uh, so if you guys do like this please hit that like button down below because that helps uh, the channel a lot uh, but anyways let's get started on the tutorial so first thing we do we take red concrete and we're gonna place that two blocks above the tracks and we're going to add pistons to the sides of it. Then underneath we're going to add a lever, pull it down like so and add red concrete to the sides of that. Now in the middle we're going to take gray concrete, add one right there to the back of that and we're going to make it 15 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In the back, we're going to add uh, red concrete again, make it five blocks wide. In the top part, we're going to add red concrete, pistons on the sides of it, red concrete on the outer edge. And let's add a lever in the middle, pull it down. So we got our nice buffers. Now we're going to go uh, back to the front. So next, we're going to take a diorite wall, place that on the left hand side. This is going to be our lamp. And right above where the pistons are, we're going to add in light gray carpet. Above the red, we're going to add another brick fence, like so. Now, in the back of this, we're going to add in smooth stone slab on the outer edges and then one in the middle. Then right here in this hole, we want to add in another brick wall. We're also going to add another brick wall in the front for the coupling. All right, cool. So after we do that, uh, let's go down below and we're going to add in uh, these two dark oak trap doors and we're going to close it up like so. Then we're going to add a T-shape using light blue concrete. It's going to be our wheel. We're going to skip a block, add another T, skip a block, another T. And then we're going to add in upside down uh, stone brick stairs on the bottom corners. I'm going to do that to all of them, so looks like this. Same thing on the other side, just make a bunch of T's and they're going to line up the same. And this in new and improved model, the wheels are a lot closer together, which is uh, much more <laughs> pleasing to the eye, to be honest. And after we do that, we're going to add in the, the connecting rods, which are more, more detailed than the other ones because they have like a little blue hole right here in the middle. So we're gonna add a stone brick stairs right here in the middle of the first wheel and the middle of the second wheel and the beginning of the third wheel. Then we're gonna connect the top parts of it using stone brick slabs all the way across like that. All right, the same thing on the other side. So. Bam, bam, and then last one here, and stone brick slabs connecting it. So they look like this. Now we're gonna add in another brick slab right between the first wheel. And we're gonna extend it so it goes all the way one block past the last wheel. And uh, I guess you don't even need to add it like the whole way because you can't really like, see it. But if you want to make it super accurate, you can uh, connect this whole bottom area. But I'm just going to do the parts where I can see. So I don't have to like destroy everything just to place blocks. All right, so it looks like that. Uh, once we're done with that, we're going to add red concrete. And we're going to add a line across the side. And we're going to do the same thing 
on the other side all the way across like so now right over here we're going to take a three by three of black concrete so three blocks tall three blocks wide and we're going to make it two blocks long all right and then on top of that uh, let's add another two by three and then in the middle we're going to add just two these black concrete blocks and then we're going to add nether brick stairs on the sides of it and on top we're going to add in the smokestack which is going to be two black concretes now on the front there's going to be a quartz block in a plus sign shape with quartz stairs on the sides of it like in the corners <laughs> like so so now he has a face all right, so then underneath uh, the walls, we need to add in a smooth stone slab. So let's do that. And let's add acacia slab uh, right underneath the outer uh, smooth stone slab. And you'll notice the angle of this one is much different from the one before. All right, so now we're going to work on, I guess, the coal bunker in the back. So let's just skip a block here. Five blocks wide, light blue concrete, and I'm going to make it three blocks long on the sides. Then we're going to add an additional, I guess, two layers on top of this. Like so, and then we're going to add five to the back. Then in the middle, we're going to add in the coal, since this is the coal bunker, so I'll take three blocks of coal right there. And add in this prismarine brick slab on the edge right there with a light blue carpet on top. Then we're going to add light blue concrete right here, both sides, and we're going to make it actually a five blocks wide like that, and I'm going to add one in the middle. Then we're going to add in a light gray carpet right here at the bottom, and add three blocks tall of light blue concrete. I'm going to make it six blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Three blocks tall. Same thing on the other side again. And after we're done with this. So next we're gonna work on the cab. So take out prismarine brick stairs. Just add two of them. One's upside down, one's right side up like that. And then birch slabs on top and the bottom. And then another two prismarine stairs like that. And we're going to copy the same thing on the other side. And add in our slabs and prismarine brick stairs right here for the window. So next we're going to add um, three blocks wide, light blue concrete in the middle here. And we're also going to add it towards the middle all the way to the front over here. I'm going to add uh, prismarine brick stairs on the sides, like this, all the way across. Same thing over here. Then on top, this is actually the first time I'm adding the red stripe, so... I don't know, I thought of like a di many different ways to make the red stripe, so I think this is like the best way to make it. So we're going to add a red carpet right here, skip a block, and add light blue concrete right there, and then red carpet. All right, now we're gonna add in that little piece that juts out. So that's gonna be two light blue concretes here. And then on the inside part, we wanna fill this in like a, well, the inner part of this, like a two by two like that. And then we're gonna add light blue concrete down here and then prismarine brick stairs front and the back of it like so. And then we're gonna take prismarine um, brick slab and we're gonna add two underneath right there. Copy the same thing on the other side. So add in these two light blue concretes, two by two inside. Uh, light blue concrete here and stairs in the front and the back of it. And prismarine bricks slabs underneath that part. Now on top, we're gonna add a light blue uh, carpet right there, both sides, for the water tank, um, just to fill it in. And now uh, the front, we need to add in uh, this oak stairs right there it's gonna be upside down facing towards the other stairs 
and light blue concrete in the middle like so. Now on top there's going to be three blocks wide of nether brick slab and this is going to go all the way to the back. So extend that all the way right there. There also is going to be two of these oak stairs. One's going to be upside down. Well, both of them are going to be upside down then. First we're going to brick stairs upside down, you know, just facing towards it so that we have like these two holes in the back for the windows. Now on the side here, we're going to add in this birch um, trap door. So let's add that where the hole is. And uh, right above it, we need to add a row of black carpet all the way across. So let's do that all the way across. And then we're going to add in the back detail. So there's going to be a lamp here. Of course you can't add that redstone torch because that requires hacks. So instead we're just going to place just that one to your right wall like that. And the bottom portion we need to add in dark oak fence gate right above this piston and a nether brick uh, fence right behind it. And then we're going to take out a light gray carpet and we're going to add it right above the rest. So it looks like this. All right, so then where to work? Um, let's actually work on the banner. So let's go to our loom. We need to make actually two sets of banners. So one's gonna look like this. So we're gonna go to our loom and place a light blue banner inside. Take yellow dye, place that inside and it's gonna go right across um, the middle. Put that back in. And we're gonna go right across the middle on vertically place that back in and let's add a light blue dye inside and we're to cover up the bottom portion of it and uh, let me check if this thing works okay that doesn't work so let's just go across the bottom third of it like that so that is going to be our bottom of the one now to make the other banner which looks like this so we're going to go back into it let's place the light blue dye i mean light blue banner with the yellow dye and uh, let's see what we can do. Let's go horizontally like that. Place that back in. Add a light blue dye um, column across uh, the right hand side. Place that back in. Place yellow dye right across uh, the middle vertically. And take it out. Place that back in. Add a light blue dye uh, right across the top part. And we're going to take it out. All right, so it should look like this. And once we have that, we have our, both our banners. So let's go add it to the side of the locomotive. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. So let's add it right there. It's going to go like uh, right after the dome. So that's our top of the one and then the bottom of the one like that. It should look like this. And do the same thing. So it should look like this. All right, got our number one. So then we're going to go to the front of the cab and add an oak fence gate here, open it up, it's going to be the whistle. Now in the inside part of this, we're to cover up the floor using a stone. Now you don't have to cover up the whole thing, you just have to cover up at least uh, where the cab starts. So cover up this part with stone all the way across, like so. Alright, so for the back portion, what we're going to do, we're going to take um, light blue concrete. So we're going to make an O shape using light blue concrete with a coal block in the middle. Then we're going to take out spruce trap door, make a row of three here, close them all up. Now this is my um, hypothesis what the back of the cab looks like, by the way, since there are not really that many references. So as for the front, we're going to add an oak uh, button right here in the middle. And let's add an oak fence gate right there with an oak fences on either side of it and on the left hand side would go all the way down with it. Then we're going to take light gray um, concrete, we're going to fill that, <laughs> replace that one in the middle and then fill in all the rest with light blue, I mean light gray. Like so, let's go add a magma block at the bottom and add our spruce trap door and you can close it up or open it up depending on how you feel like it. And it's that prismarine brick slab right here on the right hand side. And an andesite wall right here. And right above, 
uh, next to it, we're going to add a lever like so. Then we're going to go on the outside of the cap and add in a step, which is a prismarine brick stairs right there. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to go to the back again and add another brick fence in the middle, and that's going to be the coupling chain. Then we're going to move back to the front, and right where we see this red on top, we need to replace that with a light gray carpet, both sides like so. And yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build Tom's the Tank Engine in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the build, and it does look a lot better than the older one. So if you have the older one, make sure you're updating to this one, because it's a whole lot better. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.